We got CGI birds ranty, numpty dipshit graduating to the mecca of Baltardia, Jose JG Retard Show. 20 April, 2021. All right, guys. Let's, 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 uh, let's say hello to Ranty. Almost unbelievable. You should be able to speak, Ranty. What's up? What's up? Ah, clown. Um, yep. Yeah, it's been going good. It's been going good, great. Oh, brother. Been going good. Going good, great. Well, which one? Any questions you want to ask me? I guess. Jeez. I guess. Can you even speak? Yeah, I have a question. How many CGI birds does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop? True or false? And I think that um, the research that I've done and other people have done also in, in that field, in things that you've done too. Research you've done? You're a moron with a donated camera. An incoherent eight-year-old could have done your research, clown show. Are you delusional? Including delusions of grandeur? Scary, dude. And what Jose's done? Much like you, this bozo couldn't open up a gumdrop wrapper without severe danger to himself and others. There's some research that me and Katz are actually working on. This guy's batshit insane, folks. Now, Conspiracy Katz is a researcher, too. A brother in arms, eh? Have that Burke research. How does a delusional Dunning-Kruger pretender clown numpty dipshit Presto Magico resurrect himself from publicly announcing is the second law of thermodynamics is about the movement of energy and not the movement of matter. And not knowing what a mirage is in the context of whistling past the graveyard. How about that research? And from what I remember, you're another second law bolo. The researcher with a donated camera, CGI Birds here, once got Jedi mind tricked into thinking the second law of thermodynamics was false because a high pressure atmosphere wasn't spontaneously filling a flat tire. <laughs> Perhaps you two delusional knuckle dragon window lickers should wed. You can have Maxwell's demon be the master of ceremonies. <laughs> It's possible, possible that there could be a, a better explanation and an easier explanation and still have the globe. Explanation? Explanation for what, Gilligan? You haven't identified the subject yet, for fuck's sake. You off your baltard meds. And by the way, you can keep your numpty ball window liquor. So, so, so we are still working on that, and hopefully we'll have that information out, hopefully in the next couple of weeks on a live stream of his. Uh, we have got papers that go with it, so there are people out there in their field that are discussing this phenomena and how it works and what it does and the effects of this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's just that they haven't cross-pollinated that with Flat Earth yet. Cross-pollinated? Have you cross-pollinated with your second law of thermodynamics bolo and bumbling baltard husband yet? What's really hilarious? CGI Bird's researcher here has yet to identify the topic, and none of the baltard morons on the panel or Jose JG Retard himself are stopping him. They're probably still choking down their crayons from lunch. We gonna get to the subject here anytime soon, CGI Bird's? If that's if that's possible to be able to demonstrate that, okay, you can see 15 miles, you can see 20 miles from sea level and it still be a globe. And one other thing as well, removing the idea of looming. That's the, that's the key thing, because I think we've all been hoodwinked with that. I think we've all been thrown a spanner in the works with that one thing, because it's the one thing that flat earthers always will never, ever, ever, ever agree on, which is that you can have looming. And it's never been demonstrated by the globe as for proof of that. But if we came up with an explanation that didn't require that, and it's still being a globe, and a lot of observations would then make sense, and you wouldn't have that bendy magic going on, well, I think it's a win for everyone. So we finally got the topic, or topics. We can see 15 to 20 miles from sea level, and removing looming, 
all the while being a globetard goober. You also said, looming is something we don't agree on and is the key thing in reconciling the two camps. Number one, this isn't an agree-disagree genre, you CGI dodo bird. Number two, the baltard bozos, including you, don't know and have never known what looming actually is. Just listen to any of the hangouts over the past five years for confirmation that you f- sticks are absolutely clueless. Your husband most certainly doesn't know what it is and is the poster child of looming ignorance. He called it a mirage. See the show titled Conspiracy Cat's Demise. Rest in peace on February 9th on the Quantum Eraser channel for belly laughing confirmation. So all that's left for your cross-pollinating CGI birds research is to reconcile 15 to 20 mile shore-to-shore observations on a baltard ball. You'd have better luck reconciling married bachelors with achromatic rainbows and sprouting broccoli from your armpits. So to actually experience no drop from where I film, so it's not like I could... Well, where I film, it's not like you've got a landmark and something else that you can look at and then determine drop you know there's, there's none of that so the other things that i can really look across are the are the waters and the waters appear to be flat you know it has to be said the waters do appear to be flat you can see a long way yeah because the earth's flat next block of instruction how to drink water from a cup so i was always saying well yeah you can't see drop in my location prove me wrong and i was quite happy at that point until i saw that image <laughs> And when I saw that image, I was like, oh, fuck. Until you saw that image, eh? You, your second-law bolloing, mirage-looming husband, and the numpty from down undy, Rufy, have circle-jerked yourselves into the best flat-earth proof to date, now known as the Blackpool Swan. You retards have just earned yourselves a seat at the head of the table. Because of this photo... Not the one you bozos clumsily crop, but the original found at nationalparkprintshop.com for 22 euros. You have now increased the radius of the earth a whopping 1,024%. From 264,000 miles found in the original black swan to its current place with the black pole swan coming in with an earth radius of 2,703,096 miles. Congratulations, numpties. A very clear image that shows everything that you need. If you were looking for a picture-perfect image to analyze, that image was the one to do it from. Yeah, we know. Thanks again. You know, my head turned upside down. Did your neck superior mirage off your numpty neck? I bet your second-law bolo and husband called the ER and said, His head's looming. There's no ums about it. There's no ahs about it. There's no horizon to worry about. There's no water refraction going on. There's none of that. (laughs) What's this? (laughs) (laughs) There's no horizon to worry about. Yeah, uh, that's kind of the problem, you do licking yard arm for sedition hanging numpty dipshit. We have an unobstructed sea level view for 32 miles. You think there shouldn't be a geometric horizon somewhere between us and that 32 miles to the base of the uncropped Scafell Mountain, Mr. Magoo? And water refraction? What the f***? You think we're looking at the Blackpool Swan from an octopus's garden under the sea, Dory? Apparently, you need some shade, you rocky raccoon retard. I did actually go through, you know, as far as I can recall anyway, every possible flat earth explanation for this image. And I really did try everything, but could only come up with the one conclusion at the end of it all, because it is such a clear image. And then when Bev repeated it, well, it was just a slam dunk then. 
So it was questionable outside the Panhas mirrors between your ears. Until Bev repeated the observation. Then it was a slam dunk, eh? Repeatability is one of the four horsemen of empiricism. And the summary of the scientific method. Specifically, observable, testable, repeatable, and falsifiable. The repeatability aspect is shackled by the lips to experiment. Not to the observation, crayon muncher. You don't have a scientific experiment here. You don't even know what one is. To repeat the observation, you wouldn't need Bev. All you'd have to do is look at your cropped image, close your eyelids, then look again. Goodness, you're scary, stupid CGI birds. I went through everything, everything I could think of. Well, that's not saying much, knuckle dragger. Just a few bong resin encrusted loggers you snorted, and the stray pieces of barnyard straw you got trapped amidst the funhouse mirrors between your ears. Well, to be honest, I mean, I pretty much wrote the book on optics for flat earthers. <laughs> Yes, and Pocahontas was actually an MI6 mermaid and the mastermind behind the sinking of the Lusitania. You couldn't copy, let alone write, Mother Goose if I spotted you the mother and the goo. I'd like to get back to a comment you made earlier that clearly demonstrates beyond any shadow of a doubt that you're absolutely clueless about the subject area. It's in regard to sinking. Let's define it. Highlighted in your alma mater wiki from Humphreys, William, Physics of the Air, page 449. Sinking is the opposite of looming. In sinking, stationary objects that are normally seen above the horizon appear to be lowered or may even disappear below the horizon. So like looming, sinking is always in relation to the horizon i.e. you can't have or even suggest sinking without an established horizon. You said... There's no horizon to worry about. You know, if it was... If it, if it had been sinking, then you would also have seen sinking on Blackpool Tower and the other objects in the in the image. So I couldn't use that excuse. It couldn't be sinking. Yeah, it couldn't be sinking, you burk. Because there is no horizon, as you admitted. There's no horizon to worry about. There's no horizon to worry about. Moreover, following specifically what you said, to have sinking with Blackpool Tower along with the other objects in the image, there would have to be multiple horizons. A horizon with each of your objects for the object then to sink below. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, wow, man. Which altogether shows it's well past time for you to return to your true vocation. Picking up cans along the side of the road. Supervised. Priceless. P.S. If you witness an optical phenomena let's say an island superior mirage 50 miles away, that doesn't then ipso facto presto magico carbon copy appear 12 miles away with an oil tanker. Ya putz. Next block of instruction, how to see a shadow during the day. If my theory is correct, then the black swan is actually a function of nature. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a function of how um, this this globe functions. <laughs> I'm back on the globe, mate. I'm 100% back on the globe. Fatality.
Praise the Lord.